Oh, man. You know, from the moment <laughs> that that guy was sitting in front of his computer saying that he thought he had a chance because of how homely she was. <laughs> I knew this was going to be a good episode. <laughs> oh, this. Oh, mm. <laughs> oh, it, it's, it's hard to explain how funny this was. My goodness. Mm. <laughs> I just it caught me off guard I, I didn't expect it to be this awesome <laughs> but oh goodness I wish I could remember that guy's name mm. he, was, he was such a great character he made this episode just amazing also Kazi is more of an idiot than I thought he was like I understand him not remembering things cause it seems like he gets hit a lot. <laughs> He's, he probably has some major brain damage. So, him not remembering stuff seems very logical. <laughs> On top of that, he's just stupid. So, he has that going for him. But, goodness. When that guy said she was homely. <laughs> so he thought he had a shot. I was like, oh... That's my dude. But here's where it got weird. When everything got turned into a game, I was like, well, why would he go after her again? If you've turned this place into a game and you could basically get in chick you wanted, why her? Because I agreed with him. She was not very hot. <laughs> it was so stupid. Uh, the flip. He probably wouldn't even have much of a problem if he just went for someone else. Oh, goodness. But I understand. And it's, it's, it has to go that way because the protagonist wouldn't care if it wasn't someone that he, you know, was close to. Ah. <sighs> but goodness. That made the freaking guy seem kind of stupid. But. Man, I really dug this episode. Like the way everybody had a text box in front of them <laughs> when you talk to them. <laughs> and that first chick he ran into and freaking she had the, the cliche of the toast in the mouth thing. Which was weird because she was in the school already. Like that's something that happens when you're outside but whatever. Whatever. We're not going to talk about it. It was funny. It worked out. And she ran into him and then... <laughs> was like you didn't see anything <laughs> he said no I didn't see your striped panties at all oh this was so good I'm sorry oh man but goodness yeah dude turns the place into a, a gal game as they they call them cuz I guess I was thinking from the beginning that it was gonna end in some type of X-rated stuff, so I was saying like Arrow Gay, I think that was what they were called. But apparently, if you don't play the PC version, it's just a regular game. <laughs> but once you hit that computer, oh man, uh, it goes into wild territory. Oh man. Mm. I'm sorry, this was... Oh, this was great. <laughs> I think his name was like Osamu or something. I don't know. Oh, flip. But when Kazuya came up there trying to confront him, he, he called out a fan club of ugly chicks. I was like, Flip, why is your fan club ugly chicks too? Dude, if this is your game, why is every chick you're going after subpar? What the flip, dude? Cause I, I, at first I was like, yeah, he said, you know, am I too ugly? Yeah, you're definitely too ugly, but still, once you control the world, it doesn't matter how ugly you are. You can win. It's your game, buddy. But no. He wanted to keep everything plain. <sighs> Goodness. 
That was the only gripe that I have with this episode. Is that everything was so freaking subpar for him. But it's whatever. Uh mm, I'm trying not to Oh I'm trying not to just <laughs> repeat everything that was in this. But it had some great moments. Like that part when um when he was sitting there talking to her at the lunch well I was gonna say at the lunch table but they were at the desk and she was um she was asking about Kiriha and he was like yeah she's with me yeah of course we can't just let her run around naked I was like this dude is a complete idiot like um uh, uh mm. he's so stupid that it kinda upsets me you know what I mean? Like, he's not... He's not just your regular protagonist dumb. He's extra dumb. And I guess that's just supposed to be his character. But whatever. Ugh. But basically, he ended up being able to solve everything with the help of... The guy with the glasses. I can't remember his name for anything. Oh, by the way, the other guy's name was Okado. I thought about it. Okado. Mm -hmm. I think his, his glasses friend's name is Osamu. Osamu. Yeah. But that guy, goodness. He seems to be completely into everything shady. Like, I, I'd like him to be the main character. He makes everything more interesting. No joke. But he basically knew uh, freaking um, NTR. <laughs> <laughs> oh, root to beating the game. Oh my goodness. Ah. Oh man. I'm sorry. It was. Who? You say one line and you basically take the chick from the guy who got the chick in. Hmm. <laughs> it was just good, man. I'm sorry. This episode had no combat in it, which. I'm not surprised. They even, after the break, after the midway point of the episode, they made it like, um, <laughs> like it was an opening to a game for real. <laughs> it was just so good. Oh, man. And I was, I was starting to get tired of the show. Like, I got tired of my Saturday shows. But, with this, I'm willing to give it more chances. Goodness. That was freaking hilarious. And at the end, it turned out to be an X-rated game, and she was mounting him and stuff. <laughs> oh, man. It got into some, some suggestive poses, but they never went into detail on exactly what was going down. You know, but I was certain that she was what was going down. And <laughs> we'll have to leave it at that. Oh, man. Yeah, but... Mm, it was a great episode. And I'd give it a 5 out of 5. Well, heck, heck, you know what? 4 out of 5 for his stupidity. That's the only thing that drug it down for me. How stupid he was and how the other guy was picking these homely-looking chicks. So, yeah. Tim, what you guys thought? I'll see you next time. Peace out. And have a great day. Thanks for watching.